Hello everyone, my name is Sora. Welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we'll be checking out Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. This game came out back in 2010 and it's an MMORPG developed and published by Square Enix. Now you could say that Final Fantasy XIV is one of the top 3 MMORPGs you can play today uh, with World of Warcraft being number 1. Probably Final Fantasy XIV is in the number 2 spot with like Elder Scrolls Online or Guild Wars 2 or even Black Desert Online with the third place. Now without further ado, let's jump in and see what this game is about. So right off the bat, we are in the character customization screen and it seems like her is like the humans, Elizin are like the elves, Lalafell are like the gnomes, Mikoti is like the cat people, and Roegadin is like the giants. These names of the races. We're just gonna be a human. Sure. Uh -huh. you know, we can either be a midlander or a highlander. So it seems like the midlanders are like the more common people. There's more of midlanders and highlanders. And highlanders are like the first people who came to uh, the world called Eorzea. So I guess that's the world we're in. And in the character customization option, we can actually see our characters in different environments, so that's pretty cool. I do like this the best. It's very green and blue and it just looks nice. So we're gonna be a midlander. We're not gonna really mess around with the uh, with, with the with the height. So we can either be tall or short. I don't I don't want my character to be too short nor too tall. And for muscle tone, we can be smooth or chiseled. Let's go with chiseled. And uh, skin color, I'm happy with this color. Hairstyle, you know what, I'm gonna try to make Cloud. There are a lot of, like Cloud isn't my favorite character from Final Fantasy franchise. But I think it'd be pretty cool to make a Cloud. So I actually couldn't find the hairstyle that looked exactly like Clouds and this I think just kinda looks the closest, to be honest. And obviously we need the hair to be blonde. The face... Let's go with this one. Yeah, this one looks nice. Why not? So we have jaw, we have eye shape. It's not as in-depth as other MMORPGs, but... I mean, I guess it's... Okay, it's not as detailed, there we go, as other MMORPGs, but it is still pretty in-depth. Let's go with number six. Iris, we want large, and the color, I believe, I, I believe Cloud had like blue eyes. For our birthday, so there are 12 in total, so I'm guessing from January to December. You know what, let's, let's go with Kirito's birthday. I believe his birthday is October 8th. There we go, October 8th. So it's the 5th Umbro Moon, the 8th day. Uh -huh. So in terms of classes, we have Gladiator, Puglist, Marauder, Lancer, Archer, Conjurer, how do you even say that? Thaumaturg, Thaumaturg, okay, and the Arcanist. I think we're gonna go with the Puglist, because Puglist is, they use fists, right? Obviously, if we're trying to create Cloud, we should have gone with the Gladiator, but let's go with Puglist. I think they're, you know what? No, we, we, are, we are trying to make Cloud, so we're gonna go with Gladiator. Let's go with Sora, and because we're trying to create Cloud, we'll go with Cloud's last name, Strife. This music reminds me of Final Fantasy X title screen. Alright, we're in the game. We're gonna be using mouse and keyboard, obviously. What? There's no voice acting! Their mouth is moving, but there's no voice acting! Oh, that's weird. I like how there's no loading screen when we go when we enter into a building. That's a nice touch. We hear our own footsteps. Is there going to be voice acting for this? No. Okay, we hear their footsteps and their sound of movement, but there's no voice. That it, it, it's so weird. So this is the icon for main scenario quests. So I guess that's the main storyline. And these are for like side quests, I'm guessing. So right off the bat, we have 
a lot of exploration. Usually in MMORPGs, you know, right off, you know, right at the beginning, they're like, okay, can you go kill this? Can you go kill that? Can you go collect some of these? But Final Fantasy XIV seems to be different. It's more like explore the city. <laughs> Get to know your home city. In terms of navigation, when you press M, this big map kind of shows up on the side, which is pretty cool. Or, if you just click on it, it tells you where to go. In terms of quest navigation, that is very, very simple to use. I like it. Return learns. So I guess it's like teleport home kind of thing, where you can use it from anywhere. And then there's another zone change. So it seems like from zone to zone, there's like, it's instanced, but whatever's inside that particular zone, it's not instanced. So usually in an MMORPG that's instanced when you go, in, oh, there's another ethernet shard. When you go into a building or something, it, it there's like a loading screen. But for Final Fantasy XIV, whatever's in the zone, there is no loading screen. So when we enter this building, there's no loading screen. When we level, it makes the, it's it's the victory theme from Final Fantasy. Okay. Oh, we have to be level four. Um, so we have to go level because we are only level two. Yay! Kill and kill and collect quest. Oh my gosh! I would have never expected to be overjoyed by having to do a kill and collect quest in an MMORPG. We're leaving the city. It seems like oh, achievement unlocked. Mapping the realm. Oh, look at the sky! Such a beautiful zone! I mean, the rocks, they seem a little bit outdated, but still... It's such a nice place. I mean, let's, 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 let's fight one of these hornets. Oh my gosh, the global cooldown in this game is actually really long. I finally understand why people say the global cooldown is long. Because it actually is long. Oh look at that! There's a giant tortoise! Oh my goodness, it's level 12 though, so I don't want I don't I don't wanna touch it, but still Wow. Bite my head, bite my head, bite my head. Yeah! Oh Wow. And I've noticed something. Oh, so these are the stuff that we have to kill. Snapping shrew, and we have to get some shrew pelts, okay. So there's a couple things I noticed. Number one, when you go into combat, the music changes. That's so Final Fantasy. Can I move and cast at the same time? Oh, yes, we can. And another thing that I noticed is that it kind of loots for you. Yeah. It automatically loots, so that's kind of convenient. The combat feels so impactful. In terms of skill animations, oh, so many other players around. In terms of skill animations and Im impact and sound, I gotta say, it's it's a lot better than World of Warcraft for the like the early level combat. But a downside thing is the, the global cooldown. It's so long. <laughs> I think if I played Final Fantasy XIV before trying out World of Warcraft, it wouldn't have felt very long because I actually have like zero experience with tap targeting combat MMORPG. So uh, playing playing Final Fantasy XIV for the first time, I, it wouldn't have felt slow. But I play World of Warcraft first and then I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV and so it feels a, a little bit slow. To check our inventory, we press I, and, and, and then it shows us our inventory. But to check our item inventory, we have to go Control I, and it kind of shows us the stuff that we have. Ring of Freedom. We'll equip that. Shoes. Ooh, item level five. Disciple of War five. So we have to be level five to use this. I'm guessing. What is that? That looks like the dash card from Card Captors. Wow. All right. So what do we have to do? We have to speak with Papa Sean. Where is Papa Sean? 
Oh, he's he's out in the field. Okay. The music in this game, though. Oh, it's so nice. We are delivering pretzels. We are literally a delivery boy right now. Duty calls, commence battle for underneath. Okay, so I guess this is like a boss fight. Level 12? Am I under level right now? Yes, he's blinded. There we go. Some debuff. But it seems like our handsome stranger is taking or tanking all the damage. The sound of impact is awesome. Oh, we won. Thank you, handsome stranger. What a name. We have to present our receipt. It's such a grand... So there's like... Even in the main questing, there's such grand quests where we have to fight bosses. At the same time, there's like little, little quests that's still part of the main storyline. Like handing out pretzels and showing people receipts. <laughs> and delivering pumpkin. We're literally delivering a pumpkin. What the hell is that? Oh. It's just the same mob as this one, but it just it just looks so big. Ooh, it's like a turkey raptor dragon. Take the customer's orders. Are you serious? Are you serious? Reduces damage taken by twenty percent. So I get. I'm guessing this is like a. Uh, like a tank skill. Pretty cool. Traits and actions. So we get our next action skill at level 10 called Riot Blade. Present yourself to Warren for inspection. We actually have to go buy equipment. That's new. Alright, so this is how our character looks now. That I, I'm not the biggest fan of that eye patch, to be honest with you. But it seems like that's all we needed. Because that has turned green. Oh, we finally get a new weapon. Viking Sword. It feels kind of weird that these monsters aren't fate joined. Fate? What's happening? What's happening? Is this like a world event? Hey! Look at all these guys. Let's buff up. Let's blind them. There we go. Should I shouldn't I be tanking? Nice. I'll blind them. Nice. Fate rewards. That's awesome. That's like really similar to Guild Wars 2. Oh, the road to 60. So it says the experience earned while below level 60 is dramatically increased. No wonder why it's double EXP. The game kind of helps you to level fast so that you can get to the end game content. You know what? I actually want to try to take on one of these giant tortoises. Let's buff up. Let's blind them. Oh my goodness. You know, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Yay, new weapon. Does the aesthetics change when I equip this new weapon? Let's see. Yes, it does. It looks more epic. I think it saves a lot of time because most MMORPGs, let's say you have to go from point A to B, while you're kind of running and traveling to that place, you know, these mobs will come and attack you and you it's kind of mandatory to kill them, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, you're, they'll hit you. <laughs> I mean, you can ignore them and just run, but they'll hit you. But in Final Fantasy XIV's case, it doesn't actually do that, so that's pretty cool. Fate discovered. Let's go for the fate first. Spitfire. Fate joined. Am I the only one here though? 
Hold up. Damn it, I'm the only one here. Can I even do this by myself? Oh my goodness, this is actually hard. Oh, we have another guy here. Dude, help out, man. Nice. When you're in a fate and you're fighting against this like boss, the music is actually incredible. Hit him with the Q ability, lead with the C ability. There we go, we'll blind him again, get out of the AOE. I'm, I'm dying here actually. Oh my gosh, I'm dying! Hold up. I need to, I need to eat something. Oh no, no, no. No, I died! I thought I got out of the way. I wonder if that guy is by himself. He looked like he was like under leveled though. I kind of feel bad that I died. No, I think that guy left. Oh, that guy died! <laughs> I feel so bad! <laughs> so it seems like we're, we're gonna fight some bad guys. What is this? This guy looks epic. We have Kylo Ren here. What the heck? Now we're fighting a freaking rock monster. I thought we were gonna fight those guys. Defeat the clay golem. Am I soloing this? I guess I am. And that's it. Oh! <gasps> Someone's dead here. So someone died here. Ooh, he's surrounded by girls. And a girl that's taller than him too. Mindful or oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I said mindful. Mirthful maiden. <laughs> what a ladies man. There is a fate happening right now, and oh my goodness, there's three of them! Is this endless? What the heck? They keep respawning. Hey, fate complete. So I guess a fate, it's more like an event than like a boss monster. So sometimes it could be one big boss monster, or sometimes it can just be broken down into multiple of them. Um, so that was pretty cool. But anyways, I think I'm gonna leave it off there. So here's my thought on Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. So first of all, I love the art style. I love the graphics, I love the visuals of this game because I have been a fan of Final Fantasy franchise for a very long time and to see these art style it just was kind of nostalgic. And at the same time, my biggest personal con for World of Warcraft would be the art style. It's more Western than Eastern, like Final Fantasy XIV obviously made by Square Enix. Uh, it's a Japanese company, so the art style and the visuals is more Eastern, which I'm more fond of. But at the same time, when I look at the combat, it's like kind of slow. I, I think that's the right word. It's kind of slow because the global cooldown is actually pretty long. I'm still gonna have to think about what I want to do, like what game I want to play long term. But Final Fantasy XIV is definitely on the list. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys did enjoy, a big thumbs up would be appreciated. And if you guys are new and you guys enjoy First Impressions video and or MMORPG or RPG games, uh, please do subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one really, really soon.